well, day four. Um, unfortunately, the sky didn't um, properly clear last night. There was a sort of it was clear above the clouds, but there were a thick layer of clouds obscuring the mountain. So, uh, yeah, no Milky Way shots yet. Um, two more nights to go. Uh, so we'll see. What I have done this morning is shoot a um, a time lapse of the sun rising um, over the mountain. So you'll see it's kind of well illuminated now. Um, so I set the camera going before the sun came up. Um, so hopefully that'll turn out quite nice. Um, but anyway, it's 10 to 8, so uh, time to go and get some breakfast, I think. Right, so I've come back down the cable car. Uh, the car is still here, so I guess that's a benefit. Um, right, gonna head off now to the uh, cellar pass. I think that's right. Yes. Um, grab some coffee, have a look at the views there, and then uh, carry on heading east. Um, so we're ending up over by the um, Three Mountains tonight. Uh, the Dreizinnen. Trace seam, Italian German, hey ho. Right, onwards. So I've arrived at the uh, cellar pass now, and um, I'm just going to take a small trail. It goes for a kilometre or two, um, basically through a load of boulders that uh, fell down the mountain some point in the distant past, thousands of years ago. Um, so yeah, Let's see what images we can get around here. So I've wandered off the footpath, uh, just a few metres really, um, into the uh, city of stones as it uh, translates as. As you can see, it's a rock heavy environment. Um, anyway, I'm going to see if I can uh, find a composition here uh, using um, one of the boulders as kind of a foreground and then get the three peaks up above in the background. Uh, plenty of rocks to choose from, so let's have a little wonder. So, um, I decided to use that rock there as the foreground, actually, um, with my 20mm lens. I'll come down here a bit. Um, I can pretty much get this as a foreground and that tree uh, sort of being framed nicely by the larger mountain on the, uh, on the right hand side there. So, I think that'll do for a shot from this position. Uh, and we'll carry on around the trail a bit further. So I just stopped uh, on the path back to the car park, uh, grab another shot, because I quite like how the uh, trees and rocks closer to me sort of mirror the same shape as the mountain above. Uh, so I think that'll make quite a nice photo. Uh, anyway, I'll carry on trekking along the path back to the car park now. So after a not very successful lunch, um, it was just a bit icky, but there you go, at the uh, Pordoi Pass. 
Um, I've got to my last stop for the next couple of nights at uh, the Missurina Lake. Um, so I'm currently going for a little stroll around it. Very pretty it is too. And tomorrow I'll head up to the uh, mountains, the Dry Zinn, and, and do the circuit there. Uh, so yeah, do a little explore around here then. shots down by the lake and you could get a hint of Milky Way but with all the hotels and stuff around it it was um, I don't know I'll see what happens when I process it but then I thought on a spur of the moment I'll, I'll drive up to the top of the mountain um, I'm not going to go walking around the, um, the back of the uh, dry zinn because I don't have a torch with me um, so that'd be kind of stupid because it's pitch black up here but there's some um, lovely jagged mountains to the south with the Milky Way rising directly above them. So I'm just shooting um, a few images now um, and I'm tracking those and then I'll um, take a static one for the landscape and blend those all together afterwards and hopefully we'll get a, a pretty good shot. Um, yeah, the weather forecast, even at 4pm this afternoon, was predicting, you know, mixture of cloud, maybe a bit of rain. And it's, there's some cloud on the horizon, um, but that's actually kind of good because it's lit up orange from light pollution, um, so it brings out the uh, jaggedness of the mountains quite well, otherwise they'd disappear off into, into the blackness. So, yeah, we'll see. Looks alright in the back of the camera, but um, anyway, I'm going to get out of the car again now and let my night vision come back. Mm -hmm. 